young mother goes missing after stopping at a gas station. Tracy Pittman, a vibrant woman in her 30s, vanished without a trace on April 26, 1998, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and a community desperate for answers. The small town of Wetumpka, Alabama, was forever changed by the mysterious disappearance of this beloved daughter, mother, and friend. Tracy, standing tall at 5 feet 10 inches and weighing around 140 pounds, possessed a distinctive appearance. Her brown frosted hair framed her face, accentuating her captivating hazel green eyes. On that fateful day, she was dressed in pink shorts, a white floral top, and white tennis shoes. Adorned with earrings and marked by a C-section scar on her abdomen, she possessed unique identifiers that could help bring her home. To understand the events leading up to Tracy's disappearance, we delve into her life. Tracy Lee Pittman was born on March 15, 1968, in Montgomery, Alabama, to Stephen and Linda Pittman. Love blossomed, and she found companionship in Greg Kegley, eventually marrying him in 1993. The couple established their home on Fairfield Drive in Montgomery. Three years into their marriage, Tracy's joy multiplied with the birth of a beautiful baby girl in November 1995. However, life took an unexpected turn, and Tracy and Greg decided to separate in 1997. In an amicable agreement, both parties signed the necessary divorce documents in February 1998, officially dissolving their marriage on April 11, 1998. The separation brought about new challenges for Tracy, who now faced the daunting task of finding a job and a new home. Seeking support and solace, she moved in with her parents at their Lake Martin residence near Eclectic, Alabama. Determined to carve out a better future, Tracy secured a job at a local dentist's office, scheduled to begin on April 27, 1998. On April 26, however, tragedy struck. Tracy and her daughter embarked on a routine errand run in her white 1993 geostorm. As the evening sun dipped below the horizon, they made a stop at the BP gas station near the intersection of Highway 231 North and Redland Road in Wetumpka. Surveillance footage captured Tracy pumping gas and proceeding into the store to settle the bill. But what transpired afterward remains shrouded in mystery. The following morning, a concerned local resident stumbled upon Tracy's geostorm parked near Old Georgia Road approximately two miles east of the gravel pits on Highway 170. Tracy's daughter, miraculously unharmed but left alone, remained in the vehicle, alarmed. The individual promptly contacted the Elmore County Sheriff's Office. When investigators arrived at the scene, they made chilling discoveries. Tracy's car sat with the keys in the auxiliary position, the radio humming softly, and her purse left behind. Strangely, the windows were rolled down two to three inches, and witnesses recall the engine still running. Authorities initially believed that Tracy and her daughter were en route to her parents' house. However, the presence of road construction on a portion of Highway 170 made it unlikely that Tracy would have taken that route instead of an alternative path. Despite numerous searches, including dives into nearby quarries, no concrete information regarding Tracy's whereabouts emerged. Desperate to find their daughter, Tracy's parents erected billboards throughout the area, urging anyone with crucial information to come forward. They even offered a substantial reward, which increased each year in the hope of incentivizing leads. Yet, these tireless efforts yielded no breakthroughs. Within a year, Tracy's case was transferred to the Alabama State Bureau of Investigation. As hopes dim and leads grew scarce, the once vibrant investigation began to wane, leaving Tracy's loved ones trapped in a perpetual state of anguish and yearning. The pain of her absence never subsided, and the weight of grief bore heavily upon their hearts. We know who you are, and if you don't come see us very soon, we will be coming to see you, District Attorney Randall Houston said. In a gesture of support and determination, 
Governor Kay Ivey issued a $10,000 reward for any information that could lead to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for Tracy's disappearance. The community rallied behind this cause, clinging to the flickering hope that justice would prevail and their cherished Tracy would finally come home. Years turned into decades, and the search for Tracy Pittman continued, albeit with diminishing resources. The once bustling investigation had dwindled, but the love for Tracy burned as brightly as ever within the hearts of her family and friends. Their unwavering devotion fueled their pursuit of the truth, never allowing the memories of Tracy to fade. Today, the small town of Wetumpka still carries the weight of Tracy's absence, a reminder of the enduring mysteries that haunt its streets. The community remains united, their collective desire to bring Tracy home serving as a beacon of hope. They stand resolved, determined to uncover the truth that has eluded them for far too long. Tracy Pittman's story serves as a reminder of the countless individuals who vanish, leaving behind fractured communities and hearts burdened with unanswered questions. As time marches on, the longing for resolution only grows stronger. It is our shared responsibility to keep their stories alive, to shine a light on the forgotten, and to tirelessly seek justice. For Tracy and others like her, the quest for answers continues, refusing to be silenced until the truth is revealed and they can find their way back home.